Here's my favorite Spike story. Um, I was a guest coach early on while I was a faculty member here. And when you're a guest coach, you get to spend the whole day with the team. So you, um, they, go, they have their meal, they go down early to the locker room, they get taped and all that stuff. And the week before, we had lost to North Texas. Not good. <laughs> you remember that, Chris? You may be too young. Um, and so we're playing A&M as an evening game, nationally broadcast. And uh, of course, it sold out. Texas A&M, I think, was ranked fifth or third in the nation. What was it? Fifth. And Spike goes into the locker room and talks to the boys. He was a very good speaker. And he said basically to them, only you know what you've invested to get to this moment in your life. You make sure you take full advantage of it out there. You have a great opponent, you have wonderful fans, you have a national TV audience. This is your moment. You make sure you take full advantage of it. But he said it much more elegantly than that. And you could tell the team was getting all fired up. And then somebody um, like tugged on his shirt and said, you didn't introduce the guest coach. Now, can you imagine how Spike Dyke said my name? Yeah. How did he follow that up? He, he, well, we, I did, here's, here's, here's a nerdy mathematician. Yeah, yeah. Lawrence, whatever he said. Mm -hmm. And when he did that, the team was kind of built up. You could just feel the air go out of the room. And we went out on the field, and we fell behind 10 to nothing. But Spike, I went home and I told my wife, I'll never criticize a coach again. Have you, have you given that uh, <laughs> I don't, Because I saw the other side of it. Yeah. That, that these guys, you don't see it all. Not, you know, how could anybody, of course, people were angry after losing the North Texas, so I, I said, no.